U2S. that flew it started out as Air Force pilots and were, went through a program where they called sheep dip. Yes. Made them look different. <laughs> so they took those Air Force pilots, made them CIA pilots, and stuck them in this jet-powered glider. So what are we going to see from it now, Popeye? So now it's setting up for what is the high key of the simulated flame-out approach. As you can hear the engine winding down, you see drag devices beginning to come out in the form of flaps and speed brakes. That drag will help simulate that the engine was flamed out. It'll now execute a 360 degree turn down to the runway, at which point it will meet his mobile officer, that's the chase car, where he will talk him down, get very close to the runway, and then take off again for, an, for another circuit. But as of right now, that profile that you see is exactly what it would look like if the engine was flamed out. Uh, ERS, part of the 9th Reconnaissance Wing, headquartered at Beale Air Force Base. A very privileged uh, slot, isn't it, getting to join the U-2 program? <laughs> you could think so in some ways. There you can see the chase car in pursuit as the U-2 rolls down the runway. Eight minutes sorty. And don't miss the chance to see the static U2S here if you're rejoining us for the extreme.